Hi, welcome to the Absolutely Improvised Monologue. Um, you kind of know the drill by now if you've tuned in before. Somebody gave me a word, it'll be down here somewhere. And I have one take, one shot, one monologue based on that one word. Um, we are getting closer to uh, realizing some interstate success for Pork Chop. Details to follow. In the meantime... So this past Halloween, uh, we didn't uh, we didn't do much, you know. The kids went a little trick or treating, and and me and Gail, you know, we had some hot chocolate and raked some leaves, you know, uh, autumnal stuff. And uh, so, when they came home, I noticed that Porkchop Junior had a lot of makeup on, and. Uh, we went that we had dinner every Halloween, corned beef hash and cream corn. If the kids can get through that, then they get their candy. You don't eat the corned beef hash and cream corn. The old man gets your candy. So they sit down. They've learned to love corned beef hash and cream corn anyway. So they eat and they eat. And then they get ready to go to bed, take some candy with them a little bit, you know. And uh uh I noticed that. Poor Chubb Jr. slides his, his makeup on. I said, honey, come down here, man. Papa wants to talk to you. So he comes downstairs. Now the kid's like 11, and he's just really learning about himself. And uh, I said, hey, uh, hey, 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 babe, what, what's, up with the, uh, what's up with the makeup? He says, he says, Dad, I feel pretty when I wear makeup. Okay. If you want to feel pretty, wear the makeup. I was just curious. He says, I feel like, like I want to wear makeup all the time. I said, uh, that might be a bit weird. He says, I thought you might say that. And he went to bed. And he didn't wear makeup again for years and years. And then he got to be about 19. And he, 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 called, me, uh, he called me on the phone. And he said, uh, Pops, I need to talk to you. Can I come over? I said, of course you can come over, babe. Whatever you need. Come on over. Uh, I'll make some pasta vazu. We'll drink a little vino. We'll have a nice little time. He says, no, it's not that kind of talk, Dad. I said, okay. Come on by, son. So he comes over, and uh, I hadn't seen him in a couple months, and he's he's looking trim. He's looking very uh, GQ-ish, you know, like he's in the, the haircut and the... I mean, he, he looked like he should be a movie star. I said, uh, I said, Junior, what the, what's going on here? He said, well, Pops, I got to talk to you. I said, okay, talk. You want, what do you want? You want coffee? You want tea? You want Dr. Pepper? What do you want? He says, uh, I'll take a diet Dr. Pepper. I said, okay, two of them coming up. Sit down. So he sits down. I go in the kitchen. I get a couple of diet Dr. Peppers. I bring them back. <laughs> pop them open. Throw one in front of him. He takes a long sip, and you can see he's shaking. He's shaking. I'm like, what did my boy do? Am I going to have to buy a lawyer or a gun? What the hell's going on here? He says, Dad, I got to tell you something. I said, okay, okay, Junior, what is it? He says, I'm gay. I said, that's great. I'm really happy all the time, too. It's your mother. She makes me happy. What makes you happy? He says, no, Dad, I'm gay. I said, what does gay mean? He said, Pops, I'm a homosexual. I said, oh, how's that working out for you? He said, I knew you wouldn't understand. I said, no, I understand perfectly. You like men, men like you. What's not to understand? He said, well, are you okay with it, Pops? I said, why wouldn't I be okay with it? It's your life. You love the man, the man loves you. Just If you're making good stuff, if you're making good jello, nobody cares where it came from. And he says, well, well, what about God? God don't care. God made you the way you are. All you got to do is be happy, right? You ain't hurting nobody. You ain't no Catholic priest. You're a guy who wants to go and be a guy with other guys. Absolutely fine. Well, what's the catch, Pops? He looks, he kind of gives me the, the stink eye. What's the catch? There's no catch. There's no catch at all. 
if my parents taught me something and I taught you something, love is unconditional all the time. Go be in love, man. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you were honest with me and you told me because that shows your love for me and respect for me. So, to put a fine point on this, you like boys, boys like you, I like you, everybody's happy, nobody should be ashamed or embarrassed or worried. End of story. As long as the boys you're with aren't Green Bay Packer fans, we'll be absolutely, without a doubt, fine. 